We had a major report on inflation showing it's still an issue. How much of an issue? Straight to Doug Flynn, the certified financial planner, co-founder Flynn Zito, who joins us uh, today. So it's kind of interesting to see all that green, even though inflation came in hotter than expected. Mm -hmm. What should we think? Uh, it wasn't a shock. I think it came in pretty close to expectations. And I think that's what the market was looking for. Is, okay. Was it going to be a, a much higher number? So um, I think that's what led it, sort of every, every, gave everybody a sigh of relief and allowed them to start buying tech stocks again. Yeah, that's what we want to do, right? So any excuse. OK, fair enough. Let's talk about inflation, though, because uh, I think I said earlier, it's, it's kind of stubborn, right? It doesn't, you know, it's, yes. it's kind of getting there, but it's still, it hasn't gone away. It's still a story. We'll put up on the screen some of the places where Americans are still uh, feeling it. Just, you know, mm -hmm. regular people, homeowners, homeowner inflation up 6%. Renters, rent inflation up 5.8%. Electricity, we need the lights. We have a lot of lights here. Electricity inflation up 3.6% cars, car insurance up, 21% car repairs up just about 7%. You like to go out and have go to the restaurant, food away from your home up 4.5% and hospital health care stuff's up 6%. So you see that, I mean, that's, yeah. that's why if you just think about it, people haven't said, all right, the economy's better and it's off to the races here. You're still feeling exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, if you think about it from the Fed's perspective, getting down from the 9 percent high in inflation to 3 percent might have very well have been the easy part. Getting from three to two, which is their target, is going to be really, really difficult because it, it, that sounds like a great number. But mixed in there is exactly what you're talking about. Things that have 20 percent year over year inflation, even though the overall number is three. And I think about when you go into a restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, restaurants hadn't really reprinted their menus. And if they're going to reprint them, they're re going to reprint them at 50 percent higher uh, the numbers because they don't want to reprint them again in a year or two and they hadn't reprinted them for a while. So you go in, you see these crazy jump in numbers and OK, the inflation rates three percent. But I know when I went out to dinner, it's a lot more expensive. And that's what people are feeling. Right. The, all of that said, the Federal Reserve still brings interest rates down at some point this year. Yeah, I think we're, we're shifting from. Uh, we're shifting from sort of, you know, higher for longer yep. into what I think is going to be slower and longer, meaning it's going to take a little longer to get to where they want to get to with interest rates going down. And maybe it's going to be a little bit later in the year and a little bit of a slower pace. They're going to do it uh, because of where things are in, in, in terms of what interest rates are and where inflation is. And you don't really want to have interest rates paying that much higher than the inflation rate. So we're going to get there, but it just may not be tomorrow. But mm -hmm. it wasn't a shocker today. And so therefore, we're back right. sort of in the game of what we're going to do with the market. And that expectation is still there. Another reason maybe yes. the market did OK today, the stock market. Exactly. All right, let's talk with you. We do every Tuesday. Doug comes up with what we call Tax Tip Tuesday with Doug Flynn and doing this up until uh, uh, tax day. So today, this is interesting because it affects a lot of people, the 529s. All, a lot of parents out there are using them uh, to plan for college. This obviously has tax implications. Take us through it. Yeah, there's real, there's two new benefits for this year. But just the, the old line benefits, which we shouldn't forget about, are, you know, there are, it's a tax advantage way to save for college. And a $200,000 college today, if you had a newborn in 18 years, uh, and that's the total cost for four years, is going to be two thirds of a million dollars. So you need to get on this. But some of the big benefits are there's, there's 41 states that have a state income tax and 38 of them offer a state tax credit or deduction for putting money into the 529. So there's an, a distinct advantage and a tax savings for doing that. You also get the tax deferred growth on the money. And then if you take the money out for college, uh, it's tax free, 100 percent tax free. So if you're going to save for college, it's a great way to do that. You can also transfer money tax free between beneficiaries if one child doesn't need as much and you want to shift it to another. Uh, and some other really interesting benefits are that we should all have this problem. If, if we wanted to super fund $18,000 per person per year, five years worth. So if, if you and your wife had $180,000 lying around and wanted to drop it into the 529, there's no gift tax ramifications to do that. Okay. You can really super fund that. You can't gift for five years, but. That's a huge jump for those people that had more than the, the annual limits. Mm -hmm. uh, and another thing is people sometimes ask me, what if I my kid gets a scholarship? And well, you're allowed to take that money back out for academic or sports scholarships. So it doesn't get stuck in there. Uh, right. If you do save and then your child gets That's a scholarship. A really good point. So don't let the scholarship idea stop you from, from so you putting money away. You get a full away. ride for some one, another, one reason or another, which is great news. This is not something that's going to be held against you. I like the fact that you get shifted between the children, right? Because it's not Doug's being nice. But if you know one kid's annoying you one day, just give all the money to the other kid. Um, the other part about this.
this. Your own savings, I think we could put this up on the screen, the can convert the unused portion to a Roth IRA. There it is. There's a, a limit, 35 yes. grand. Talk to us about this. This is awesome. These are two new benefits for this calendar year. And so if you do have excess money in the 529, uh, the beneficiary, that is, can convert that up to $35,000 over their lifetime uh, into a Roth IRA and continue that tax-free growth. And so real quick, at that age, $35,000 invested for 35 years, even at 8%, is over a half a million dollars wow. tax-free. So you want to take advantage of that, even if you have some excess money in there. And a big change this year for financial aid was money that grandparents used to uh, give you for your kid's college, if you had that situation, counted against you for financial aid. Now that's excluded. So in the old days, grandparents were just giving money to the parents to put in their 529. What you want to do now is have the grandparents set up their own grandparent 529 for the child, okay. put money away. And then when that money comes out, if the rules are the same, it's as if it doesn't exist uh, against qualifying uh, for financial aid. So a huge benefit in the two new years. And so, uh, like many things, not many people have said to me, oh, I, I'm really mad I saved too much money in my kids' 529. <laughs> so, you know, we should do that. Thank you, Doug. News you can use. Uh, Doug Flynn, Tax Tip Tuesday. Thank you, sir.